Hi Virgo, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome back to Yansa's Universe, it's me Yansa. This is going to be your general love reading for August. I'm sorry Virgo, I've been sick, but this is going to be your general love, re love reading, like I said, for August. I'm going to pull from a couple different decks, see what messages I get. Remember, if the whole storyline doesn't resonate, but bits and pieces do, just take the bits and pieces. And it could just be one word or one phrase that I say, so just take that as well. This is general. It may not resonate for all of you, and it definitely may not resonate now. It could have already happened or could happen in the future. Okay? So, let's jump into it. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Anyone with Virgo in their chart and or Crosswatcher. Crosswatcher, please flip it. If I say Virgo this, Virgo this, and it's you, flip it. All right? And same to you, Virgo. Show me what's going on for Virgo and Virgo's love life. Trust. So, you are trying to get this person to trust you. Or this person is trying to get you to trust them. Whatever's going on for you, Virgo, the situation is calling for you to have trust and faith. The situation with love, the situation with family, the situation with um, your job or career, um, finances is calling for you to have faith. Sorry, y'all, my hand is itching. Religious factors, okay? So trust, I'm seeing that this is all about you and spirituality and self. So trust your ancestors trust your guides trust universe trust source okay because i don't know what you've been through or what you're going through but whatever it is your love life is being influenced by this religious upbringing so there's this is calling for you to have faith okay calling for you to have faith faith and religion are hand in hand right so how can you have one without the other? I'm seeing this could be a big lesson for you, something you have already learned or something you're learning now, all right? So I actually want to see how this person feels about you. Before I go into the tarot, I'm going to pull from my deck. How does, uh, I almost said Leo. I just did a bunch of Leo readings, I'm sorry. Could be dealing with the Leo. But how does Virgo's person feel for Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Okay, this person could be someone, whoever's on your mind, if you don't have anyone on your mind, could be past person, present person, or future person. How does this person feel about Virgo? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Virgo. I am sorry. Or maybe the A. How this person feels is that, Virgo, you need to say sorry, damn it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. But whoever it is, this person this person feels sorry. They want to make things right. Why do, why is sorry here? Okay. Okay. Okay, it says I'm sorry for leaving you alone. Okay, so this person leaves you alone because they don't want to string you along. They know it's not right. Okay? Or this person they they're sorry and they realize that some divine intervention has come into play. It says uh, they've been emotionally scarred, and if they ever hurt you or because of this, they are sorry. Tear down to build back up. Yeah, so they emotionally scarred you and tore you down to build you back up. You were dealing with a narcissist, and they are sorry. So it says um, it's time for me to heal now, masculine energy, all right? I talked to my mom and my dad about us. So, I'm sorry, it's time for me to heal now. This is the masculine energy, doesn't have to be a man. It says, I leave you alone because I know it's not right for me to string you along. So this person stops talking to you because they, they know that it's not right for them to string you along and they're sorry for that, they stop talking to you. But divine intervention has come into play. See, we have religious factors, so more spirituality, double confirmation. Someone is emotionally scarred. Someone was uh, tearing someone down to build them back up. Because, I don't know why someone would do that. I feel like they learned to do this shit or they did this shit because of some type of weird narcissistic tendency. All right. This person uh, says that they are sorry. This person was very undecided in the past. All right. You probably stopped talking to this person, Virgo, or this person stopped talking to you. It says, I want you back. So, Crosswatcher wants Virgo back or Virgo wants Crosswatcher back? I don't know. Okay. Let me get some tarot. 
tarot. I want you to show me this person. Show me Virgo's person, please. Ooh, we three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh my lord, what happened, Virgo? You broke this person's heart. This person broke your heart. You broke each other's heart. I feel like this is a strong connection because we have religious factors here. Maybe you guys just are different and you don't see eye to eye, but you love each other, right? I feel like you guys have a strong connection and maybe your ancestors or your guys have already like preordained something to happen with you two. Maybe it's not even romantic. Maybe it's, it's just a lesson that your ancestors placed for you guys to learn. Ain't no telling. I don't be knowing what spirit be trying to do sometimes. That's why you gotta ask. <laughs> Trust your guides though. Trust your guides. Show me Virgo's person. Nine of Cups. Ooh. You make them happier, they make you happy. But I'm seeing this person says that they don't need you, Virgo. They can do bad all by themselves, Nine of Cups. They can't shake you though. If you thought they could, if you thought that they were good, they are good, but they still would rather have you, Two of Cups. This was a strong connection, or maybe this is, maybe this is a job. This is your love reading, but I know sometimes love reading trickles in family and romance, um, sorry, family, career, job, and shit like that. This is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some more Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Virgo's person. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Virgo's person. The Emperor. Yeah, this is Big Mama, Big Daddy. Could be the father of your children. Or the mother of your children. This person makes you happy or you make them happy. This person is a boss. Okay, Nine of Cups. They're very established and very happy that they are established. Very happy that they are secure. Very happy that they are, you know, in power or in authority. Well, this is how they feel about you, Virgo. So, how I'm seeing your person is they feel like you, they feel like you make them happy, and they feel that you are well established, or maybe they feel like you're selfish and you're smug, and you feel your person uh, doesn't get enough attention from you. <laughs> we do have the world card. All right, I don't know what type of mind games and manipulation was going on. Show me, clarify the emperor for Virgo's person. Clarify the emperor. All right, does this want to come out? Yes, I saw the devil card, so there was toxicity. Could have been a Capricorn. Okay, yeah, the three of pentacles. Didn't I just say that? This card wanted to come out. Y'all, I'm seeing, okay, I have to tell you what I'm seeing. All right, this is how I, this is just what I'm feeling as well. The Nine of Cups is a single person. Somebody pretended like they were single, but they were actually married. They were actually an emperor. They were actually a baby daddy, somebody's husband, wife, or father, um, or someone was married. Uh, there's a third party here. This person steps outside of their marriage. Then they're probably a polygamist with um whatever however they were raised is how they treat people the fuck is going on okay uh, if this is i don't know why that was so specific but that's just how i don't fucking know all right give me some more for virgo's person king of pentacles okay there's no denying this person is a husband the King of Pentacles is a husband or has obligations with someone else or has obligations somewhere else. King of Pentacles, well established, a lot of money. Strength card, it could be holding back. Okay, they have a lot of passion for you, but you had to cut this off. Five of Pentacles, because this person was juggling. Okay, they left you out in the cold, you left them out in the cold. It's over, ended, and transformed, Wheel of Fortune. Now a water sign is coming towards you. 
um, you love this person and you want to take a leap of faith toward this water sign, or you want to take a leap of faith with the with the cross watcher. I don't I don't fucking know. There was a person who was already established or had prior commitment somewhere else. Okay. And they were very passionate and very drawn to someone outside of their commitment or obligation. The person that they were drawn to, it blew up in their fucking face. Someone got ghosted, lied to. Someone didn't feel like it was fair. It wasn't fair. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't equal. Someone didn't get, get treated the way they were supposed to get treated. Someone was not loved the way they were supposed to be loved. There are no cups until the king of cups. So during all of this, it just looked like someone was committed, had obligations, but stepped outside of their relationship or obligation and found someone else or found someone that they actually ended up liking but held back from this person, ended up breaking this person's heart and juggling them and had to end it. Now that it's over, the will of fortune is here and they want to come back to this person that they ended it with. The person that they, not the person they stepped out of their relationship on. I think that might be over. They want to go back to the person who was actually the innocent bystander. You know? All right, I'm done. Moving on. I don't know why that turned into that. These were great cards, and I don't know why that turned into that. I'm not, I don't really see no ending, ending, though, like three of swords type ending. The Wheel of Fortune could represent an ending, but I'll see. What is going on for Virgo? Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo. I wish I could use this damn deck. Okay, Virgo, Ace of Pentacles. All right, you wanna, you do want a brand new start somewhere. All right, you wanna take a leap of faith. Could be towards a Cancer, or you just wanna get out of this um, feeling alone and feeling like you're not good enough. All right, you've been single for a while, but your money is motherfucking great, Virgo. What is going on? Here's the family. Okay, remember I said I didn't really see no ending. Virgo could probably still be with this damn family. Oh, damn. Okay, the strength card came out twice, so you could definitely be dealing with the Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Aries. Another Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. So, Virgo, how you're feeling is none of this is affecting you financially. Okay? I'm getting two storylines. Virgo, you're very financially stable. You got an offer. Sometimes the Ace of Pentacles doesn't mean a lot of money, but it does mean new money. Okay? Or a new stability or a new gift. Alright? Because it can be a purchase or new job or it's a gift all right or a lot of money either one so a new leap of faith a new beginning traveling somewhere so you could have possibly just moved or you're going on a vacation i don't know what this five of pentacles is you're leaving someone to be single or you're leaving someone to be single for a little while and then you go back to this ten of pentacles you go back to your family and then you go back to holding back or just having the strength to do both. I don't fucking know what you're doing, Virgo. So I'm just getting a lot of different storylines. But the one that hits the most and the one that hits the hardest is that I'm seeing a lot of money, a lot of finances and stability. Nine of Pentacles, this is your card, Virgo. So you're fine, you're happy, you're stable. The family's fine, the family's happy, the family's stable because of the work that you do. You could travel for work or work is letting you go on a vacation or maybe i don't fucking know you move a lot in your job so so i'm seeing so you go through cycles with your money it's great it's great it's great it's not great then you got to start over again and then it's great it's great it's great okay i need to see about love please what is going on with virgo in regard to their love life king of pentacles 
here you are again. You are, okay, the king of pentacles is a husband, is a father, is in a connection or commitment or obligation with someone or some entity, job, somewhere. Is a father, is a provider. If this is, if you're not any of those things and you're single, yes, that's great. And your money looks great as fuck. So in regard to love, I'm seeing that you want to be there for someone. You want to nurture someone and you want to provide for someone, Virgo. Clarify strength. Three of wands. The fuck is this, Virgo? Clarify strength. Seven of wands. Why? Why? Virgo, the hell is going on? Why are you so opposing? Someone is defensive and so opposing. I don't know if it's you, Virgo, or if it's your person. Because one minute, you on your high horse and you ready to take the sleep of faith. And then you get insecure or something with this five of pentacles. And then you just want to be single again. But then you want a family. But you hold back. Like, what is this? You're either fighting for this or you're not. You're either fighting for this or you're not. One minute, you want to take action and fight for this. The next minute, you're waiting. The Two of Cups is out again. You love this person, but I'm seeing, look, we have religious factors. Someone has some toxic ways, toxic beliefs, some type of just, and I just feel like if you break free from that, then you can finally move forward. Maybe it's fear of commitment. The devil can represent fear. The hair fin is commitment, fear of commitment, or shit. Maybe you're fearful of this connection, this strong connection. Virgo. Damn, why is this so specific? Golly, I'm going to use another deck. I'm going to pull one card for you, one card for your person. Show me how Virgo feels about this person, please. Five of Cups. It says hope, but there's a lot of sadness. The regular Five of Cups is sadness crying over spilled milk but virgo feels hopeful but virgo is in a lot of melancholy right now virgo loves to be sad you know ain't that what melancholy means for some reason like when sad feelings come they submerge in it like hmm this is how i feel oh this feels so sad oh okay i don't fucking know <laughs> clarify the five of cups for how virgo feels okay king of swords they don't want to let their emotions show. Virgo doesn't want to let their emotions show because they're super motherfucking tough. But you don't, Virgo won't let you know that they're very hopeful for this. And they don't want to be sad. That's why they're going to be super hopeful and come off as very structured and shit like that. Clarify the King of Swords for how Virgo feels. Damn, I said I was going to pull one damn card. Eight of Wands. They want to communicate. Virgo wants to communicate. So Virgo be acting. It's Virgo. Virgo loves to act. It's okay. Virgo wants victory and success in communication. They do. They won't show you that. They're going to stay in this five of cups type shit. I don't know why. All right. Show me um, Virgo's person, please. Show me how Virgo's person feels. The star wishes. They wish for you, Virgo. They want you. They're waiting for you to make up your damn mind and stop acting all crazy. Clarify the star for how Virgo's person feels. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, the hair fin, knowledge, commitment, more religion. The hair fin has came out twice. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or an Aquarius, the hermit, wisdom. So they have three majors. This person is going through a change just like you, Virgo. So I'm feeling like this person feels like during this time, even though they're wishing for you, and with the hair fin, they're trusting their guides. This is why they're in this um, state of going within and being wise. They're probably doing a lot of praying, a lot of soul searching. Because that's I feel like they think this is all they can do because they don't know what the fuck you're doing, Virgo. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Two of Wands. This card says unity, but you know the Two of Wands means you got to make a decision. Make up your mind. All right? Show me this person's feelings for Virgo, and we're going to end this reading. Show me this person. Show me Virgo's person. I hope that you can forgive me one day. All right? So they're seeking on ways to forgive themselves, and you forgive them, and just move forward. Because even though they, want, they do love you and they wish for you, 
they're trying to follow their intuition and follow what spirit wants them to do and maybe you're not there yet virgo you're trying to be logical but you do want to communicate this person says they left you when they saw you with someone else virgo so if that other storyline resonated with virgo being with someone else they saw you with them or they just knew they fucking knew virgo all right this is all i have for you virgo i love you y'all be safe <laughs> like share subscribe leave me a comment i know the whole storyline probably didn't resonate but that one piece that did resonate just take that one piece okay i'm thinking about doing a bonus but also y'all just be safe follow me on all my social media you can donate to my cash app my birthday is coming up it's in august august 8th and i'm open for personal readings check the description box Bye bye